Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Antoine. If you're new here, today we're on day 19 for the 30 days of consistency challenge. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a video up here on the screen for you to check out to get some more info. All right, let's hop into it. So there's a guy named Job in the Bible. If you don't know his story, I definitely encourage you to check it out. It's in the book of Job. After Job lost everything, and I mean pretty much everything, there's a verse in the Bible where Job is saying that sighing has became his daily food. He also said, my groans are pouring out like water what i feared and dreaded has came to pass and he said i have no peace there's no quietness i have no rest i only have turmoil have you ever felt this way in your life have you ever been so disappointed in your life to where you're constantly sighing like job was saying have you ever endured so much pain to where you're like job groaning all the time has whatever you have feared actually happened in your life or have you dealt with a situation in your life that caused you to feel like you have no peace? I'm gonna be honest, there have been times in my life where I felt like I did not have peace within my heart. There's a scripture I found in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 30. It is so amazing. I'm about to share it with y'all. It says that peace gives life to the body. Well, how do we experience peace? How do we get this life-giving peace? The Bible says in Psalm 85, 8, that God promises peace to his faithful servants. And in Psalm 85, verse 10, it says that righteousness and peace kiss each other they're meeting each other sis when we are faithful to god and obeying his word and also devoting ourselves to him we're inviting life into our bodies we're inviting peace now please don't get me wrong job was following god he had a heart for god he was a faithful servant of the lord so that lets us know that even though we're following god we might still have to go through some things but i'm talking to the sis on here who has been disobedient who hasn't been following god you might feel like oh yeah i have been following god but if we look at the scriptures you'll see that you've possibly done something that has allowed chaos to come into your life when you're disrespecting people and you're not treating people with the love of God, when you're full of pride and you're not apologizing for the wrong that you have done, you're inviting chaos into your life. Some of us give some sins a pass. We think, oh, that was just a little something or that was rightfully done or you just kind of justify what you've done and it's wrong. It's wrong. You can't justify sin. There's some chaos that happens in our life, even if we are following God, but then there's some chaos that we invite into our life because we're being disobedient. So sis, today I'm encouraging you to live a righteous life because living a righteous life leads to peace within your heart. Add that to your prayer list that you want God to help you to live a righteous life. Let's pray for peace in our heart. Let's pray for an obedient heart. And most of all, let's thank God for the promise of peace to his faithful servants. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it with a sis, a bestie, a cousin, or an auntie. And I hope y'all have a very blessed day. I love y'all. Bye.